All right, we are still taking a look at bar graphs, but now we are doing looking at something called a double bar graph. Because notice for each category, oh, sorry, vanilla is misspelled. I didn't type it, but I found it. Uh, chocolate and almond, there are two different bars. They'll either be different colors. Sometimes if they're, it's just in black and white, it might be different symbols. Like one is striped, one is solid. So we always want to make sure we look at the key to figure out what each different color or symbol means. So in this case, this pinkish color means dislikes. The green means likes. So we're looking at children's ice cream choices. Tells us the number of children whether they dislike it or like it, and then the ice cream flavor. So I know it's easy to skip over all those words, but it is important as far as making sure that we understand what it is asking us. So for example, if they said, how many children like, like mango ice cream? Well, I could go find mango and I'd say, okay, green is like, so go up, okay, 15 students like mango ice cream. How many students dislike almond ice cream? Well, almond dislike is pink. How many dislike? Okay, five dislike almond ice cream. How many children like mango and vanilla? Or sometimes I'll say mango or vanilla. Then we can just say, okay, 15 like mango, 15 like vanilla can add those together to get, okay, 30 children voted that they like mango and vanilla. Or how many more children dislike chocolate oops, than almond. Okay, so if they're asking about dislike, I need to make sure I'm looking at the pink bars. Okay, so chocolate dislike is 20. Almond dislike is 5. How many more dislike chocolate than almond? I know that means I'm subtracting because I want to find the difference. So I get that 15, children dis 15 more children dislike chocolate than almond. Now with this, we can't necessarily tell how many children there were because we don't know. Did each children just get to vote one time? Did they get to vote for each of them? Um, we don't know exactly how the voting worked, so it's a little hard to tell um, the total number. Sometimes you can um, if, it's, if it explains like, ah, the children in Mrs. Morrison's class chose their favorite subject and we split them up between uh, boys and girls. So then we can add it up to figure out, okay, how many boys were there? How many girls were there? But in this case, we don't know exactly how the system worked. So it's a little harder to tell the total number of children. You're gonna take a look at a different bar graph in your practice. Let's just make sure I can kind of give you a rundown of that. So we have visitors that went to a zoo. We have adult visitors and child visitors are the two different colors. You can see sometimes it's not exactly at the line, so you have to estimate. We can see what we're counting by. We're counting by 100s. So we can say, okay, if it's halfway in between 400 and 500, hmm, what's halfway in between hundreds? 50. So that's probably at 450. Okay. And in this case, if they asked how many adult visitors visited in all five months, April, May, June, July, and August, we could just add the blue ones together. Or how many children visited in July and August? I could add these two red ones together. So just read carefully, use the text-to-speech if you need, have somebody read it to you. I am more than happy to read it to you if you need that as well. Just let me know. Okay, good luck, you can do it.